Hey, I took water out from the freezer. Look at the temperature there. It's still liquid water. What if I looked at it in a different setting? Check this out. Wow! Beautiful, instantaneous freezing! Isn't that so cool? Do you know how this happened, instantly freezing water? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Well, the common notion is that water below zero degrees Celsius should be frozen. There's nothing wrong with that statement, except it isn't always the case. Freezing is much more than water dipping below what we think is the freezing point. Here's what I mean. Check this out. This is what water looks like at the molecular level. H2O molecules. These molecules are loosely packed and they can freely move around. Meanwhile, the molecules of ice are locked in a specific hexagonal arrangement. So to freeze, these water molecules should arrange themselves to form this beautiful cage-like pattern. And for that to happen, the molecules have to first move closer to each other, something like best buddies. This closeness is achieved by decreasing the energy of the molecules, that is, lowering the temperature. However, just coming closer is not sufficient. These molecules also need to precisely align themselves to form the cage-like structure. Which, for slow-moving water molecules, is quite challenging as this alignment takes time and effort. But once a bunch of ice crystals are formed, they seed the surrounding water molecules and the structure spreads all over the water. <laughs> like a domino effect, the water entirely freezes into ice. Ah, now it's clear, right? Freezing is about both dipping below the freezing point and forming the cage-like structure. So in the case of water from earlier, I wonder why the cage-like structure wasn't formed inside the bottle, even though the water there was way below zero degrees centigrade. By the way, the secret is purity of water. Really, the water that we generally drink has minerals and impurities in it. These teeny tiny guests the impurities nudge the neighbouring water molecules to quickly and easily align them into the cage-like ice structure. So tiny ice crystals form around these impurities and eventually the whole water freezes to ice and this happens at about 0 degrees centigrade. Pure water on the other hand, which is lacking minerals and impurities, does not get that extra nudge to help the molecules arrange themselves in that cage-like manner. So by the time they align on their own and form these ice crystals, Thanks to the refrigeration, the temperature of pure water may have actually sunk below its freezing point of zero degrees without freezing. The water is literally so cool that the phenomenon is called super cooling. <laughs> That's why instead of ice, you would find that the water has super cooled in your freezer at times. And then, what did I do? The moment I slammed the bottle on the table, that gave the molecules the extra nudge that they needed to align themselves and freeze instantly. Now we know how to freeze water instantaneously. All you need is super cold water, pure water and BAM! <laughs> hey, before I leave this conversation, I have a question for you. You might have noticed that the freezing started from the top and moved to the bottom. Why is that? I want to know all your fascinating thoughts in this idea. You know what to do. Write down in the comment section below. And if you like this video and want some really super cool and conceptually rich content, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, download Baiju's The Learning App.